Yo, what's up again, people? Welcome back. I'm Jensa here. In today's video, I'm gonna try to rank every single character in Anime Dimensions. It's only based on my perspective, so you know it. It will be ranked subjectively, uh, based on my perspective. So you guys might think differently, but at least this is my perspective. Okay, so let's get into the video. Okay, so for the first one, we got Nardo. Nardo has a basic attack that deals 30, 34, 43, and 69 more level. What a good number, actually. And for the Kunai, it's, it's you know, it's kind of hard to damage more enemies that has the same size of you. Most of the Kunais will just miss, but it's really good against Giants. The second skill will let you deal 5 hits with the damage that has almost the same with basic attack. So it's like using basic attack uh, 5 times, but it's more time saving. And... The third and the fourth skills are area damage and it deals pretty decent damage at least for starter character. Okay, so for Nardo, I'm just put it at the lowest rank first, which is E, okay? I'm not really sure about the other character. So I'm gonna just put Nardo here. Maybe you know we can rearrange this tire as we go. So yeah, I mean that's it for now. I mean for Nardo and let's go to the next one. The next one we got Fluffy. I mean, he really is Fluffy. Um, basically, um, his basic attack is the same with Nardo, but all of his skills are mostly a rage attack. That is, you know, pretty fine. My opinion, you guys can definitely see on the screen. And actually, the damage, you know, it's almost the same with as Nardo, but the fourth skill it does more combo and the damage pretty much the same. So, yeah. Okay, so for Fluffy, I'm gonna just put it. Right beside Nardo because some of the attacks are equal to Nardo, but then uh, some of the attacks are better. So I'm just make it equal, you know. Let's see what uh, the other character is going to be. Okay, the next one we got Ichini. This guy has a sword, so his basic attack, in my opinion, is slightly faster than the two previous characters that we just tested. But his skills, to be honest, are weaker than Fluffy and Nardo. But his second skill can make you run a bit faster. So. I mean, let me just be honest, guys. This is my first character that I picked, but I feel it's a bit weaker than the other style of characters. Especially the fourth skill, it's way weaker than the other two previous characters. Okay, so for Ichini, I'm gonna put it lower than these two uh, characters. So I'm gonna put Fluffy and Nado go up, and Ichini is going to be the lowest. There we go. Okay, so the next character that we're gonna talk about is Roku. So Roku has both close and range attack. His damage is pretty much the same as Fluffy and Nardo. And his first skill is Rapid Punch. And it hits 6 times with a damage that is almost the same as basic attack. So I can say it's better than Nardo's first skill. And his second skill is throwing like small spheres. And it's almost most likely, you know, you'll you'll miss it if you're throwing it to small enemy from far away. And his third skill, well, um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. And, you know, because it's an area attack and his last skill is great as well. Okay, so for Roku, I'll put it beside Fluffy just because, you know, the damage is pretty much the same and they both have close um, and range attack. Okay, so the next one is Reku. Reku has a great attack, even though some of the skills are not dealing that high damage, but he has a nice looking skill and, you know, I would say the damage is not really high, but at least it has almost the same with the other style character. His second skill is great when there's a stack of enemies lining up. And his third skill is also, you know, great when there are a lot of enemies around you. And the best thing about Reku is his fourth skill. Because with his fourth skill, you can dodge the enemy and while dealing rapid damage like so. Okay, for Raikou, because he has a nice looking skill and also the skills are great, like you can dodge the attack, I mean the enemy's attack while dealing rapid attacks. And yeah, I'll, I think I'll put it at C. Well, actually, you know, I think I should put it like in between C and D, but maybe more, more to the C. So that's why I put it at the C. So yeah. The next one is Sakura, I mean Cherry. <laughs> and I know she's not a DPS character. But she's a healing character. And you know, she can heal all teammates around her. And her basic attack, you know, the damage is the same with other characters. And even her skill are dealing pretty good damage as you can you can I mean definitely see on the screen. And to be honest, lots of high level players are looking for people using this character. Just because, you know, 
she can support all of the teammate when they need someone to heal okay so for this character because lots of high players looking for someone using this character so probably you know i should put it at somewhere around a but um to be honest i was gonna put her at s but she doesn't have enough damage to be uh you know at the s rank but for a maybe not good enough too so i'll put i mean b b is good so yeah okay so the next one it's hatsu i know a lot of people like this character but i'm gonna just be honest with you people this character doesn't do lots of damage that's it <laughs> just kidding and you know it even worse than fluffy and even though this character cost 200 gems to buy so it's kind of disappointing, you know, his skills are good looking though, to be honest, but good looking is not enough. And I think Hatsu has the, you know, almost the same damage as Ichini, but he is better. So yeah. Okay, so for Hatsu, it's kind of sad, you know, I have to put it at D. Uh, just because it's not good enough to be the same level with Raku. But actually for Hatsu, actually for Hatsu... He has to be like in the middle too, like the same with Raku. But Raku is more to the C, but Hatsu it's more to the D. So like, you know, they they are almost the same, but just you know, because I have to put a, a rank right. So yeah. Okay, next one it's Kirua, and this character has all area skills to be honest, and you know the damage is, well, pretty much the same with the D rank character that I just ranked it. But um, you know the second skill, it's an it's it's pretty you know decent. For the third skill, it's almost like Raku third skills. But for the fourth skill, you know you gotta see it. Watch. Fourth skill is like, you know, used to be the best skill for other characters, but for Kirua, his fourth skill only increasing his speed and no damage. And it's you know it's not really that fast to be honest compared to the skill name which said, God Speed. To be honest, after looking at these ranks, I think Hatsu should be at the C because it is way better than Kirua. <laughs> I mean, just Kirua Fort skill is kind of sucks. I mean, at least to my preference, okay? So yeah, I think, you know, this rank looks good. So yeah. Okay, the next character is Itabori and here's when things get interesting. <laughs> he has the almost the same damage with the previous character that we have ranks, but you, you guys will get super fast with his fourth skill. So <laughs> his first skill is just... Egg hit, like normal, second skill just like normal, you know, with the other previous characters that we have ranked. The third skill it's like normal, but this fourth skill, it seems like nothing happened, you guys will see it. But if we use the other skills, look at the rapid fist skill. It hits more than before, and the second skill it deals more damage, and the third skill, it, it hits three times, or even four, I, I didn't count that. But, you know, it, you can even use it again, if, uh, you know, the cooldown is already gone. And you can even use it again. Now I have 244 combos just by doing that. Okay, so for Itabori, to be honest, he's not equal to Reku and Hatsu, so he deserves to be higher. Maybe B, you know, close to Cherry, you know. Mm, yeah, I guess, you know, Itabori um, deserves to be at the B rank. So, yeah. Okay, so the next one is Pasta. His sword sound is really cool. <laughs> Trust me, guys. And... Um, his damage is pretty much the same with the others, and his first skill is like he's throwing three slashes, and the second skill is like his his dashing, and then each enemy that is being hit will get slashed with swap hits, which is kind of cool. And his third skill is gonna like spin in, and then hit the enemies. For the fourth skill, this one is kind of great, you know, like boom. Damn, the the area is so big, and then you know you can. Um, hit all the enemies that are around you. Okay, guys. So for pasta, I think I'll put it at B. So to be honest, pasta is kind of like the middle in the middle of B and C, but it's he's more to the B because his skills are easy to use, and well, the damage is pretty much higher than um whoever the rank in the C. So I think pasta deserves to be at the B rank. Okay, the next one is Yokoza. His damage is pretty great compared to the characters that we have ranked previously. And uh, his first skill is air explosion, which is an area damage and it deals pretty good damage. And his second skill can be used to, you know, damage the enemies in front of you while you know running from them. Um. And his third skill is almost like his first skill, which is an area damage, but the damage is higher. And his fourth skill, just like a Tabori, you know, where all the other three skills cool down 
will be resetted and you know every skills will deal more damage it, like you can definitely see it on the screen like it will deal like twice for the first skill and for the second skill it will deal more damage and yeah okay so for yakaza i think i put him at b just because his skills are almost the same like itabori and his damage are uh you know it, it it's higher than whoever rank at c d and e so i think b is good yeah the next one is tanjiro i like his skill and uh, he's holding a sword and the sound is almost the same like pasta for the sword and uh, his second skill is like creating a whirlwind of uh what is it called uh, um water and you know i mean all of his skills are area damage and it does pretty high damage compared to the characters that we have tested and his fourth skill is almost the same like Reku, which like your character will deal rapid attack slashing around while you can save time dodging the enemy's attack okay so for tanjiro i think i'll put it at a but to be honest i think i'll put it at you know like uh, at the b but then you know um he's better than whoever rank at b so i think a is a good rank you know yep okay the next one is zatsu he is holding a sword and his skills are basically a thunder attacks and you know it he does pretty high damage you know, uh, when you guys use flash, you guys can run from the enemy's attack and also attack the enemy's puncher. And for the second skill, it it deals you know the same damage like Tanjiro, but um it it, it gives more hits and a lot faster for the third skill as well. And for the fourth skill, it is way too good. And once you guys have used the fourth skill, that's like a thunder, you know, like a lightning around you, and you walk. I think you know you, you can walk slightly faster, or it's just my um feeling but that's what i feel yeah okay so for zatsu i think he he should be the same as tanjiro with the uh, a rank but actually i was gonna put him at the s rank but i, I don't really know like what's the other character is going to be is it going to be better than zatsu or not so i think i'll put zatsu at a first and then maybe we can rearrange that later okay so for kondo toki um his skills are mostly area damage and his first skill is like wait <laughs> i think the uh the effect just doesn't come out wait let's try again whoop there we go it it deals five hits to the enemy and it is an area attack and for the second skill it's gonna like um good for uh you know if you want to attack enemies that is lining up and it hits um eight damage and for the third skill it's like hitting plays around you and for the fourth skill it's gonna be like you do ice wall and then boom like a fire meteor bro and it does insane amount of damage and it's an area damage bro that was insane so for kodotoki i think i'll put him at s because it is way better than zetsu and tanjiro so i think it's a good choice to put zetsu there but let's just see you know the, the other characters the next one is Ramura. Her damage is almost the same like Zatsu, and her skill is dealing a good amount of combos. But even though she can do twice of Zatsu hits and get lots of combos from her skill, her damage is half less than Zatsu to be honest, you guys can definitely see it. And she is actually great for an area damage attacking, so if you guys really like an area damage uh, character, then you can pick her. And her fourth skill will make her invincible, so you know, we can save time for not getting hit. There we go. You can see she will like deal lots of combos, but the damage is half less than Zatsu. But you know, you can be invincible at the moment, so yep. Okay, so for Ramura, because she deal uh, the same amount of damage with Zatsu, like almost the same actually, so I think I'll put her beside Zatsu at the A rank. The next one we got Meguretsu. For Meguretsu, she is dealing the same damage as Zatsu and Ramura do, but for her skills are. You know, fire element mage looking. You just saw her first skill is like throwing fireball and then it will explode and deal an area damage. For her second skill, it is good for attacking a stack of enemies that are lining up. And for the third skill, it will create a flame tornado. Obviously, I mean, the skill name is flame tornado. And it it deals a great combo and, you know, it's great damage as well. And for the fourth skill, it will like, you know, I, I can't even explain. You guys will see like a, an explosion of flame thingy and they will get hit a lot with that for Megaretsu I'll put it besides that when Ramura because her damage is the same I mean like almost the same you know what I'm saying okay so let's move on to the next character 
Okay, so the next one we got Nojo. So Nojo, um, I would say he has a good amount of damage too, but slightly below. Oh my god, I just sneezed. <laughs> uh, I mean, his damage is slightly below Meguretsu to be honest. So let's try the flip skill again. Yeah, I just did a critical, but if it's not a critical, it probably just like 100. And for the second skill, it does maybe around 8 on until 10 hits for that. And for the third skill, it's just like normal, you know, like the other um, A ranks um a rank characters uh do and for the fourth skill it's it's it does pretty high damage though but it just not good enough compared to Meguretsu, Zetsu and Ramura. Okay so to be honest guys I'm looking at Mojo I think you know I should put a uh, Zetsu on top Ramura and Meguretsu at the S rank. Yeah they deserve to be at the S rank and Nojo I think I'll put him at the A rank he should be like in the middle of S and A but maybe more to the A rank because he deals less damage than people that rank at the S rank. Last but not least we got Alturia. Her skills looks like pasta skills you know the guy with the sword and she's holding a sword as well and her damage is pretty high I would say. And for her third skill, it does lots of damage and it's good for stacks of elements that is, you know, lining up. And for the fourth skill, it's like the third skill, but it's more damage. It's like twice. more. Actually, it's more than twice, actually. And, you know, it's this This is a good character you guys can pick. Because also, you're dealing a good amount of damage. So I think I'll put her at the S rank, you know, equal to Kodotoki, uh, Zetsu, Ramura, and Meguretsu. And yeah, I think she deserves to be at the S rank. After all, every characters are great because it helps you grind in, you know, farm as the way you make your stuff better, like leveling up so you can get better characters when you have more gems and stuff and you, you are using a uh, better card to that you're better. So if you guys have your own tier list, comment down below what you guys think and the reason why, maybe I'll pin your comment if it's good. And don't forget to like, subscribe and, you know, I'll see you people in my next video. Thank you for watching. See ya.